Now we have to start with another type of cycle that has been adopted by plants and uh, for carrying out the photosynthesis of course and before we go to that type of cycle that is the C4 type of cycle we need to understand a term and that is Kranz anatomy. Now as the name suggests this would be some anatomical difference in the leaf that we are going to discuss. You know we are talking about photosynthesis we have discussed about various uh, cycles which were involved in photosynthesis and one primary cycle that we had discussed about was C3 cycle. Now after C3 cycle if you can recall we did uh, talk about photorespiration which we uh, termed it as a wasteful process because over there oxygen was kind of taking over the activity of Rubisco and it led to waste of carbon dioxide it led, led to waste of ATP. Now, what we are going to deal with is a special kind of anatomical difference that is found in few plants. Example of the plants is maize, sorghum, sunflower. These plants, what they have done in their leaves is um, a method or you can say an anatomical difference which would lead them to have a cycle which is not having any wasteful process like C3 had. You know C3 is a process which is responsible for fixing of carbon dioxide. C2 was a wasteful process. Now C3 is such a cycle which acts according to Rubisco. Rubisco is the enzyme. And as we had discussed, Rubisco had lot much affinity more for oxygen. Also, the atmospheric content of uh, air is much higher for oxygen as compared to carbon dioxide. So, plants have in a way adopted a method where they can avoid that oxygen coming into the cells or to be very specific inside the chloroplasts. Now, if you can recall the simple anatomy of a leaf that we had discussed, a leaf possesses upper epidermis, lower epidermis and in between there is mesophyll tissue that is present, mesophyll cells are present. And the mesophyll is di uh, divided into spongy mesophyll and palisade mesophyll. In the case of Kranz anatomy, what we have is supposedly this is the vascular bundle. These are the vascular bundles which have uh, xylem and phloem. There are a wreath like, uh, there is a wreath like arrangement, wreath is a sheet sort of substance where we have, I will not show it like this in order to understand the cells in a better way. We have a wreath like arrangement of cells surrounding the vascular bundles which are known as bundle sheath cells, okay. And outside bundle sheet cells, the mesophyll is not divided into palisade or spongy. Instead, there are concentric mesophyll cells around the bundle sheet. That is all. You are going to find concentric mesophyll cells. This is what would be Kranz anatomy. Of course, there would be upper epidermis, lower epidermis of the leaf that you're going to find something flower-like structure what we have. Now, in these uh, bundle sheet, this first one is a bundle sheet. This one, which I am showing with one and the one which is represented by two, that is the mesophyll. So, we have bundle sheet and mesophyll cells. Now, such is the arrangement that the oxygen entry is to be avoided. Now for understanding what all is happening inside the bundle sheet cells and the chloroplast cells we need to uh, and the mesophyll sorry pardon me. Uh, we have this uh, bundle sheet uh, chloroplasts which are agranal. You have to keep that in mind that the bundle sheet chloroplast basically the difference between these two cells would be in terms of chloroplast. The chloroplast of the bundle sheet would be agranal. Please remember this. Okay, there would be stroma lamellae that would be present. Lot of ATP would be generated by cyclic photophosphorylation. Non-cyclic photophosphorylation will not be there because inside the bundle sheet cell, photolysis of water, the chloroplast of bundle sheet cells does not undergo photolysis of water because photolysis of water as you remember leads to evolution of oxygen. 
so we have to avoid the entry of oxygen in the bundle sheet cells for that what change they have adapted is that they have uh, their chloroplast is agranal we have stroma lamellis which are performing the function of cyclic photophosphorylation for ATP generation so the first point is that the chloroplast inside the bundle sheet cells which surround the vascular bundles is agranal in nature. It is having stroma lamellae where cyclic photophosphorylation is responsible for generation of ATP and the photolysis of water is absent so that oxygen generation is also avoided. This um, arrangement that is a bundle sheath arrangement these cells their chloroplast is having rubisco. All right. The mesophyll cells which are present, their cells are having the chloroplast which are having grana present in them. Lots of grana. Okay. Granal arrangement is there. Secondly, one thing you have to keep in mind that in the case of mesophyll cells, the chlorophylls have additional enzyme that is PEP case phosphoenol pyruvate case this enzyme is responsible for fixation of carbon dioxide rubisco is present inside the bundle sheet cells and pep case is present inside the chloroplast of mesophyll cells so this is all that you have to know about Kranz anatomy so i'm going to uh, make you revise it again see in the normal plants like c3 plants there is an arrangement where there is typical anatomical arrangement that we study in the leaf that there would be upper epidermis, there would be lower epidermis, there would be mesophyll that would be divided into palisade and spongy and C3 plants are responsible for much wasteful photorespiration process where oxygen comes and takes over the activity of rubisco and does not allow carbon dioxide to combine with it and hence lead to C3 cycle. So there is a lot of wasteful process that is going on. In order to avoid that wasteful process, certain plants as I have given you the example, many plants, the plants known as C4 plants which are often found in arid areas, arid or semi-arid areas, saline environment, they have adapted such an anatomy so that they make sure that the wasteful process is minimum. When the wasteful process is minimum, it is certain that their productivity would be higher. Now, how they have enabled that wasteful process to be overcome? It is overcome by a special type of anatomy known as Kranz anatomy. Now what happens in Kranz anatomy, how it is different from simple anatomy that the mesophyll is not divided into its uh, usual forms. Instead the mesophyll is like concentric rings around a wreath like bundle sheath which is present exactly outside very uh, clearly you can see vascular bundles are surrounded by the bundle sheet cells. Now what is the purpose of this, uh, these bundle sheet cells? These bundle sheet cells have a different type of chloroplast which makes sure that the oxygen entry is totally barred inside those cells. These bundle sheet cells they have rubisco inside them and these bundle sheet cells have such a chloroplast where there is no presence of grana. Grana over what they were accumulations and uh, one over one over one you get stroma lamellies. Instead of granal arrangement the arrangement is agranal and there are stroma lamellies which are performing the function of cyclic photophosphorylation for ATP generation and oxygen production is cut because there is no photolysis of water. Secondly, they are so closely packed that almost oxygen entry is barred, totally barred. And uh, thirdly, you have to remember that rubisco is restricted to these cells where there is no oxygen entry and the cells which have, you know, they are in close proximity to oxygen availability, they have pepkase enzyme instead of the rubisco. So this pepkase would take over the activity of carboxylation binding that is carbon dioxide would come and bind in the presence of this enzyme so that rubisco activity is overtaken and whatever chance of combining with oxygen rubisco is offering that would be totally reduced and hence would be the productivity. So this is all about Kranz anatomy. Now that you are aware of Kranz anatomy we can jump to the C4 cycle now that how these plants which have adapted this kind of anatomy utilize carbon dioxide for the formation of glucose.